you know that by 2050, the demand for food alone will grow by 70%? Yes, 70% for the demand of food alone. A UN report also shows that currently about 10% of the world population still goes hungry. The solution to solving this problem and what is even ahead of us is if we farmers are able to innovate. And I say this because I know most of you are thinking about going into farming, especially in Africa. And if we don't innovate and we go into farming and still do things that we used to do in the olden days, we are still not going to be scratching even the surface of what is ahead of us. And what is going to happen is that we're going to sit down and foreigners are going to come in with their innovation and start doing it better and at a larger scale than we can. And therefore, we will still be at the base of the pyramid. And that's why today I'm going to be sharing with you guys some of the innovation that exists in agriculture and how you should start thinking about your farm approach to meet this 70% increase in food and solving, hopefully it doesn't even go up to the 10% of people that are still living in hunger. Welcome back guys and I'm glad you guys sticked around because some of these data are just not numbers. They are things we need to pay attention to, right? When we think about farming and we think about Africa, we, we already sort of put ourselves in a small way. Oh, I'm coming to do some small farm. Oh, I'm coming to do some small thing B. Oh, I'm doing just some one acre B, some anyhow B, right? But we have the information out there. We have the brain power to think and say, even what I'm doing, no? even if it's small, how do I make it innovative enough? What kind of impact am I bringing, right? And that's why I want us to talk about this today. But before we do that, I want to share with you one of the machines that we have at our agro store, which is the pallet machine. That is what I'm looking at, talking about innovation. I'm actually going to start processing the hay into pallets because as you guys know most of you have been asking me to bring the hay to Accra but because it's bulky transportation becomes difficult and the cost becomes outrageous if we are bringing those bulky stuff into um, into Accra so what I'm gonna do is with this pallet machine be able to turn it into pallets brand it add more ingredients to it and sell it to other farmers as well this is an innovation coming from me and I'm sharing with you we have this machine in small sizes at the shop. If you want to do your small pallets at your house, please contact us on the WhatsApp number. The team will get you a pallet machine, which you can use to produce your chicken feed, dog feed, goat feed, any animal that you rear. But that's not what we're talking about today. Today we're talking about some innovations that are happening in the agricultural sector that we as farmers in Africa need to also take advantage of. Number one, is farm management softwares that exist mostly for free i did a video last year about one of these softwares and i know most of you have been talking about it and it really have been helping you especially my brothers that are living abroad that still have farms in ghana in nigeria in kenya those of you that live in the city and have farms in the village and you still want to keep an eye on your farm this is very helpful those of you that are now thinking about buying land how do you even determine the land that you're trying to buy is it a fertile line what is the rain pattern on that land right there are a lot of these farm management software that is there to help you make the right decisions because we are failing in Africa in farming, not just because we don't even have the money, but we throw the money away because we don't make use of innovations like this. Most of you that are watching me, guys, have bought a land, are trying to buy a land, right? You walk on the land and you're like, oh, okay, it's good, let's buy it. But there's a software there that can literally tell you that this land is fertile at this rate this is the rain pattern this is the soil um the, the nature of the soil or type of soil this is this this is that to be able to help you and one of these software is the eos crop monetization which basically can give you up to five years history of rain pattern sunshine fertility everything on your land 
right? So why are we not making use of this for free, right? There is also an, um, the farm ERP. This is the next generation farm management platform, which helps you to strategize your farm. So there's all these guys out there. If you guys want me to go into detail, let me know. Book some time with me um, by going to our website, www.farminginafrica.com. Schedule some time with me. I'll come in and talk to you one-on-one -on -one and, and expose you to more of these things because they exist. I use them to make my work efficient and productive, right? And I want to share that with you. So farm management system, don't go into farming without looking out for some of these systems like even tracking your livestock i have a software that basically i record every birth every death every medication all these things hello guys my name is adam go get him do well to follow farming in africa on youtube and all social media platforms facebook instagram and anywhere you find them farming in africa let's go get them this this is new to africa but it shouldn't it shouldn't be so far away they exist for us to use. The internet has made it possible. So go out there, look for your farm management software if you want to go into farming or if you're already doing farming. And if you have any of these software, write in the comment below and let me know. The second thing I want to go about is the way we think of farming, you know, um, and, and, and the innovation around indoor vertical farming. I think it is coming. It is, is, it is the new trend. And I think we need to take advantage of it as well. Most of us are in the city. We are not in the village. We don't have land. We have just backyards and our house. There are so many ways we can get the best out of vegetables, right? You're giving your wife money every month. Is going to the market, buying the vegetables. There are hydroponics. There are aeroponics that are available that you can plant like cabbage or carrots, all your vegetables just at your backyard and have something going right those innovations exist for us to be able to leap all the years that we are behind and start doing things new. don't let us think this is for the white this is for the west this is for the chinese no the innovations that have come and we need to take advantage of those innovations let me go to the the, the third innovation the third innovation is water water management technologies and systems that exist if you're going to do any kind of farming in africa you cannot depend on the rain yes the rain is an addition but i don't want you to make your plants or put your investment based on natural rain it's not going to work you're not going to get the productivity that you need and if you don't know this go outside there and look at the west if they are depending on the rain they are not it's only in Africa where we can, we think we can read God's mind. And then, you know, I always say that, you know, farmers has, has the biggest faith. You know, farmers will put their crops on the ground with no sign of rain, but hope that it will rain. If, if all of us can have that faith in God, I think we will, we will all go to heaven, right? But it's time that we put in systems to be able to support our business. I know a friend of mine is building more of a portable irrigation system in Ghana, he, right here in Ghana, where you can buy at a very cheap cost for an acre, for five acres, for 10 acres. And he's basically building this irrigation system so that you and I can have something customized for our farm, as small as it is, so that we are not depending on the rainwater. Again, contact me if you need more information about this. I'm happy to share all these details with you because they are there, right? They are available to us and they are there to support us and make sure that we are supporting or are preparing ourselves for this 70% increase in food demand. Right, let's go to innovation number four. Innovation number four is mechanized farming. Right, if you're gonna go into farming, you need to make sure that you're looking at, again, once you agree on the type of farming that you want, you're looking at the tools and equipment that is gonna get you to be able to scale and do it the right way. So I'm talking about your tractors, I'm talking about your plow. You cannot compare yourself with somebody who has plow or prepare his land to somebody who is just basically digging a hard land and putting maize or corn in as compared to somebody who has really plow hollowed and the land is loose all the enzymes are able to move freely to no 
he's gonna have better yield than you right so i'm not saying yes if you can now do it but that is the goal that's how we need to think about it most of you that are watching me you can you're into good businesses you're making good money but when it comes to farming you think of it as let me go and do it somehow let me just hire some laborers they dig and plant right get into mechanized farming that is the only way you can scale and have the productivity or the production that you need to be able to yield you the right return on the investment that you're going to put into that right so mechanized farming put that out there number five which is the last one is the use of drone you guys saw the interview i did um last week with felix which you know he was telling us how efficient just spraying his pepper with drone made him over the local farmers right because even the efficiency if you are doing it manually versus using a drone we have drones that are doing so many cool things i know there's a company in ghana that does services with drone at your farm you just hide them for a day they will come and spray they will come and do all the things pest control we decide all these things for you right these exist guys and it, it makes me very excited because that's what is going to prepare us for as i gain for 2050 and to reduce that percentage of hunger all the way to zero it's not the peasant way we've been doing the peasant way for hundreds of years and it's not and we're still in, even importing more so if, if you're thinking about going into farming ask yourself what kind of farming am i going to do what do i really want to achieve because there's something that i've been going on for years and nothing has changed and if you're just going to add to that then maybe you have to stop but i believe you know better if you're watching me on youtube you you know much much better you are exposed you have more capacity than you even know and therefore take advantage of it do your research and let's get this going because it is not going down it's just going up and if you know you know that agriculture is gonna be the thing for the next 10 to 20 years therefore be part of those players and play it well i hope this is helpful guys let me know in the comment section what you guys think but as i said if you guys haven't visited our website yet go to www.farminginafrica.com we have so many things there for you to help you in your farm journey everything is just for farmers making sure that farmers have the right tools right equipment improved seeds right resources and access to experts to be able to help them achieve that goal thank you guys so much and i will see you in another video